Good morning. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let's get into the Word of God. Today we're going to look at Proverbs chapter number 15 and verse number 1. The Bible says, A soft answer turneth away wrath, but grievous words stir up anger. I want you to notice the two things, uh, the two words here that God chooses to use. <clears throat> First, a soft answer turneth away wrath. But, and usually there's, following that conjunction is a contrast, right? And God is contrasting uh, this here, a soft answer that turns away wrath with not a loud answer. Not, he's, he's not contrasting. He doesn't say, but loud words. No, he says, grievous words stir up anger. Sometimes, actually, I would say oftentimes, our words can have a very, very big impact on other people, on relationships, on situations, circumstances, outcomes. Uh, really, so many times there are things that are shaped, outcomes that are shaped by the words that we say that could have turned out very, very different had we chosen a, um, a different set of words. And not just the words themselves, but how they're portrayed. And that's what this verse is talking about, right? The first, the first part talks about how we speak to people. A soft answer turneth away wrath. <clears throat> you know, the natural reaction when somebody's getting angry with us, the natural human nature reaction, of course, is to get angry back. It's retaliation. It's to match that anger and then maybe even go up a level and then you know, escalate. And then the other person escalates, and then and then you escalate, and then and then next thing you know, it just blows up. Uh, you know, much like uh, that that story of the uh, the Hatfields and the McCoys. I don't know if you've ever learned about them or heard about them, but it's two families that just hated each other. And this this is these are these are real families. This is a true story in America. Uh, they absolute. I think it was West Virginia. Yeah, I believe it was in the state of West Virginia. The Hatfields and the McCoys absolutely hated each other. They they got in some kind of scuffle, you know, disagreement. I don't know. I'm not sure exactly what happened. And you know what? Neither were they, because so many generations had passed, uh, and they just hated each other for so long, and and and, and you know would always one up the other, and and until eventually it led to murder, uh, you know, shooting each other, and. Um, and nobody could even remember what, why they were fighting. It's just been so long. But the Bible says the best thing to do when somebody gets angry to turn off that wrath is, first of all, give a soft answer. Don't, don't, don't match their anger. Don't match their volume. It's not worth it. It's not wise. It's, it's just not a good thing to do. So use a soft answer answer and then look by 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 looking at the contrast to that but grievous words stir up anger sometimes we can use a soft answer but we say but we use grievous words and it still stirs up anger you know it's like well you know i tried to use a soft answer but he still got mad at me anyway so obviously it didn't work i mean yeah i did get sarcastic with him but still you know that's not the point it's not just the volume it's also the words that we use. And so as Christians, we are to be a light unto the world. We are to be different from the rest of the world. The world reacts with anger. The world matches anger with anger. Just go to social media. You'll see. You'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Okay. It's how the world behaves. But God doesn't want us to behave that way. You know, when they were throwing false accusations at Jesus lying about him and condemning him to death, what did he do? He was silent. He gave the softest answer of all. He didn't say a word. <laughs> he was quiet. And the Bible says that, that 
Everybody who was there who witnessed it marveled that he was so quiet that he didn't defend himself. <clears throat> you know, a soft answer and also non-grievous words. Choose our words carefully. We represent Christ everywhere that we go. And so we ought to always be careful what we say and how we say it. Thank you so much for joining me today. God bless you. Have a wonderful, blessed day, and we will see you tomorrow morning. Bye-bye.